Hey what's up guys it's Captain Card Magician back with another video so first of all i want to say happy new year to all of you guys have a great 2022 in this video i'll be teaching you how to do the overhand shuffle card control so in this card control you're supposedly just giving the cards an overhand shuffle but in that action you're controlling the card on top of the deck or at the bottom of the deck so let's get into the video so this is what the overhand shuffle card control looks like so i can have my spectator pick any card they like let's just say the eight of hearts I'm just going to shuffle the deck, losing the 8 of hearts somewhere inside the center of the deck. Just like that, and it's just a snap, the card is controlled on top. The card control, right? So I do this all the time because it requires no breaks at all. And it's actually not angle sensitive at all. So it can be seen from any, any angle you like and still it will be invisible. So that's why I really like this card control. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So this is how you can do the overhand shuffle card control. So you have your spectator, first of all pick a card, let's just say Ace of Spades. Now you just put it on top of the deck and now what you're going to do is this. You're going to put half of the packet in the hand, so like start off with just taking about half the pack from the bottom. Now, instead of shuffling it on top, all you're going to do is just peel off one card and leave it in jog, like this. And now you, sh you take the other cards and shuffle these on top of it even this break. Now what you're going to do is push up and forward at the same time so it creates a gap and now instantly you put this packet on the other hand and then complete the card and you have your card controlled on top. Let's go over it one more time. The card is on top, let me leave it face up this time. You take half the cards, then jog the card and then shuffle. Now from here you push up and forward and then just bring the bottom packet to the top and you have the card controlled. Now here is a tip to make the end jog less obvious. So now let's let's say the three of clubs is the selection and now you do you out in jog the card, shuffle some more and now what you're going to do is then in jog some more cards from the top of the deck just like that. So now you can't tell if there is a break or not. Now this may be a little confusing at first but you can tell that the bottom one is the one that you want so you're going to push up forward and then do that you have your card controlled so that basically just makes it less obvious just like that and, boom. and now to control the card on the bottom of the deck there is a slight variation in it so you do the same thing have the spectator pick a card put it on top and now, now what you're going to do is instead of putting one card and in jogging it like this, what you're going to do is use your thumb to push this card backward. Just like that and so you have the break. Now when you push up and cut the deck, the card is going to be controlled on the bottom. So one more time. The four of hearts. Now instead of putting the card here, you use your thumb to, out, to in jog this card. Do the same thing, create a mess and then do the same thing push up forward and boom just like that that's it for the video guys hope you enjoyed hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video